Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dog, cats, and squirrels, or anybody who might want to listen to an old man like me. Hello, world. Hello, money. Hola, dinero. Hola, mundo. Shout outs. <coughs> shout outs. Shout outs. Awesome shout outs. You better stop playing with me. Guys, I got to get right to it. I can't even hesitate. I have so many shout outs and flowers to give. They don't it make no sense. <laughs> but flowers going to be given today. I might be a little late, guys. I um, went out to the Colorado game and uh, got to meet a lot of great people, man. And I tell you, it's an enjoyment today that I'm going to be able to shout out all these beautiful young ladies that I met along the way. And uh, going to help uh, build a YouTube channel and uh, follow me as I go around along the world as uh, Professor Bowtie on the scene in my high visibility green. And I want to thank you guys in advance right now for the love and support that you guys are going to be giving me uh, going forward. And I thank each and every one of you. Okay, thank you in advance. So let's get started, guys. Uh, I want to start out with Miss Jane. Now, this is my airline pilot. Not only did she get me safely uh, on land, but Miss Jane also helped me get out of the airport because <clears throat> I was lost. It's like a maze in Denver Airport if you don't know where you're going or what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know where I was going. And I just happened to ask my airline pilot. And who don't know better at the airport than the airline pilot? <laughs> hey, thank you, Miss Jane. And you know another beautiful thing, guys? Uh, I met my first trucker that was driving trucks. You know, a lady, a beautiful young lady was driving trucks with her and her daughter. And that was the first time I've ever been on the road to actually see a lady that I know drive trucks. You know what I mean? I always see them, but I just never actually personally met them. Well, uh, my, about a month ago, I did get to meet a young lady and her daughter from Potosi, Missouri, and uh, drive trucks for the first time. Now I also get to meet an airline pilot. It's a female, Miss Jane. For the first time, I've seen many of them, but just didn't ever actually meet any of them, didn't know them personally. I actually now know Miss Jane, my airline pilot. What a wonderful young lady. Miss Jane, I wish you much success. I wish you much safety in that air every day you go up there. Oh, God blessing you and everybody else on that airplane. That's a uh, really hazardous job. And it's worse than being in Vietnam because every day you don't know whether you're coming back home to your family or not. But thank you, Miss Jane, for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. I love everything about you, and I know you're going to be following me everywhere I go. God bless you, Miss Jane. Thank you for everything. And again, thank you for lending us and all our passengers uh, safely on land and so that we can go into our families and do the things that we enjoy. Thank you so much. All right, Miss Jane, you're now officially in the books. All right, so the next young lady I want to introduce is uh, Miss Lindsay. Now, Miss Lindsay is the owner of the DNVR Bar in Denver, Colorado, over on Colfax Street. And I had no idea that I was going to be in the meeting the owner of the bar. What you talking? I went looking for RK and, and uh, Jake for DMVR uh, Sports Talk Show because they're some of my favorites. And I was going to go introduce myself and meet them. And man, uh, what did I get a surprise? I get to meet the owner of DMVR, Miss Lindsay. So she going to relay the message to Jake and RK. Hey guys, Jake, RK, shouting you guys out. Can't look for you again. I just can't find you guys. Every time I come to a tailgate, can't find you. I come to the bar, can't find you. I'm going to get you, though. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to find you guys so I can get some love from you guys. But I'm going to give you flowers anyway. Jake Arcade, man, continue to show. I love DMVR show. Now I love the bar, period. I love everybody in it. I had a great time. met some great people along the way. They're going to be following me on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Man, what a great, great uh, bar that is, man. I mean, they had TVs everywhere, so everybody was enjoying the show and the team. It was a great day. Great day in DNV DNVR bar. Man, I recommend that bar highly, man. What a great atmosphere. Uh, the camaraderie, the family atmosphere, everything good about DNVR, man. I can see why. I can't wait to get back. But, Miss Lindsay, it was a pleasure meeting you. And Jonah, the, the guy who served me. Thank you, Jonah. I appreciate you, too. And he the one told me about Miss Lindsay being on. I had no clue. You know what I mean? And, oh, man, you could just see how she just gravitated to so many people. Everybody knows her. She's just a lovely young lady. Everybody loves her. She has a heart of gold. She loves helping people. And I did not know she was the owner. But anyway, I was just watching how she operate, man. She could work a room, man. Great personality. Miss Lindsay, love you. And uh, tell RK and JK, I'm, uh, RK and, and Jake, I'm going to be looking for them. All right, so the next one, you now officially in the book, Miss Lindsay. And I will be seeing you when I get back to Colorado. All right. All right, the next person is uh, Leanne. She was my flight attendant and uh, did a great job with me. Thank you, Miss Leanne. I really appreciate you. You got a beautiful personality, too. 
Got a smile that light up a room, boy. <laughs> if it's dark, man, call Leanne. Let her smile, and she'll light the room a thousand watts. <laughs> a thousand watts, Miss Leanne. Flight attendant, you now officially in the books. I really enjoyed your company for the little time I was there on that plane. Thank you. You're a wonderful flight attendant and your whole staff, too, man. All you guys are very professional. I love everything about you guys. You know, as I tell people, I watch everything. I watch people from afar, and they don't know it. I watch what you do. I don't watch what you say. I watch what you do. Your action going to always speak louder than your words. And Lynn, you're a wonderful young lady. You're doing what you're doing, making plenty of money, and be safe up there in the skyways. Thank you, and God bless you. All right, now, Lynn, you're officially in the books. All right, and the next one is the young lady I met and her father. I was sitting next to on the plane, Corinne and uh, Scott. They was going to Colorado to pick up, a, uh, go see some family, and plus pick up a new vehicle to bring back to Tennessee. And I truly hope you guys made it on back home to Tennessee safely. And God bless you, and God bless your family, Scott and Corinne. It was nice meeting you. I know you're going to be very successful in whatever endeavors that you pursue in your life. And I wish you much, much success, man. I hope somewhere again along the line we might get a chance to meet again. You guys kept me great company on that plane. Thank you so much. And Scott, God bless you, man. And I wish you many more days as well on this earth. And uh, whenever you have another birthday, just remember Jericho Seller in advance. Happy birthday to you, Scott. <laughs> All right, now, you know, uh, you guys are Korean, Scott. You know, officially in the books. On to the next one. All right, so we got, uh, who we got next? Oh, a couple that was sitting next to me on the plane. They thank me for my service, man. And that just made my day. I lit up like a light bulb. Just like I said, Leanne had a thousand watt uh, light bulb uh, smile. I had one too. And the young man said, thank you for your service. I said, wow, sir, thank you. That meant the whole world to me. I, I, I love that, man. You know, he gave me my flowers. I get flowers every day. I, why not get flowers in return? You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me. All right. I don't know their name, but uh, they know who I am. I gave them my card to let them know that um, I have a history channel. And uh, they'll, they'll let me know. Anyway, I've reached out to you guys. Thank you for, for the compliment. I really appreciate that, man. I really do. All right, so the next person um, is, uh, oh, Janessa Smith. Janessa, you're going to beat me up. I lost all your friends' names that you wrote down for me on a piece of paper. I usually just put it in my notes on my phone. But you see, I was packed with stuff. But anyway, I lost your friend's name. But, man, tell them I'm so sorry. But, you know, I got to shout you out. Janessa Smith is my veteran. Yeah, what veteran? All right, you know, I'm gonna show you out on my veteran channel as well when I get out on the on, the, on uh, my veterans channel. It was a pleasure meeting you, man. You just made my day. Thank you for your service, and I hope you are uh, much success. And I wish you much safety in the military as you go through your uh, daily routines and your daily procedures uh, in the military. As I tell people, military, uh, you don't have to be in war to go through something in the military. If you're in the military, you're going to go through something. I have to continue to say that and reiterate that all the time. You don't have to be in war to go through something. If you're in the military, you're going through something. You can believe that. And for those in the military, they truly understand what I'm saying. All right, so we're going to keep it going. But Janessa Smith, Army veteran, young lady, you now officially in the books. All right, who got next? Oh, man, Shirley and Sandy from Buffalo Wild Wind. Shirley and Sandy, them good old wings. I told them that chicken was delicious. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Jenna, uh, Shirley. And then Sandy is the young lady who brought me my, uh, you know, uh, what was it? My Honor Palmer. Ooh, wee. I love me some Honor Palmer, boy. And that was a good Honor Palmer. You better stop playing with me. And also, when I was at DMVR, man, they had good Honor Palmer as well. I forgot to mention that. Oh, my God. I love Honor Palmer. All right, so Sherilyn and Sandy from Buffalo Wild Wings, giving you guys your shout-outs, much love. I love giving flowers while people are alive. Why not give it to them while they're standing up above ground? It's, it's, it's the thing to do. But anyway, Sherilyn and Sandy, God bless you. God bless your family. And thank you for the service that you provided for me. And you guys keep up with me because I go all over the country. All right? Now, uh, Sherilyn and Sandy, you now officially in the books. On to the next one. All right, who we got next? All right, Paul Scotty. Oh, my God. I met Paul Scotty in DMVR bar, and this young lady said, I like all that yellow, and I proceeded to tell why I'm in yellow. You know, it's my YouTube channel, and I gave her my card, and we sat there all day, man, watching football games. She's a big Texas fan, and I mean, wow, I was laughing all day long. This lady had my ribs still sore to this day. Scotty, I can't be riding you every day all day because, man, my ribs would be all out of my body. Oh, you had me laughing all day. That was so much fun. I really appreciate you and your husband, man. You guys are 
really made my day. We were stuck like glue all day long, sitting there watching Texas beat down on uh, Colorado State. It, was, it wasn't beautiful at all. All right, so um, I want to say, Post Scotty and your husband, you now officially in the books. And I will see you again when I come back to Colorado, because I always stay a while, and we'll watch your Saturday game together. All right? All right. You now officially in the books. Post Scotty. All right, who we got next? Uh, this is Dion. She, uh, oh, yeah, this young lady has two kids. And I asked her, did she like kids? She got a kid that's four and one is 11. And I, I told her, I said, you know, I'm a social worker. I was a social worker. I'm a retired social worker. And that if you try to keep attention, uh, kids' attention span for more than a minute, you're going to lose them. And boy, she almost dropped whatever she had. She said, you ain't never lied. She almost jumped out of skin. Because that's it by kids, man. Women going to know about kids. You know, they're kids. Parents going to know about their kids. If you talk to a kid more than 60 seconds, you're you going to lose them. So I, that's why I do my history channel in 60 seconds, and that's what I was telling Dion. And uh, Dion, thank you. The coffee was good, too. Ooh, man, it was dunking donut, dunking donut coffee up in that g Shell gas station. What you talking? Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, it was a pleasure to meet you, Dion, man. You make sure you follow me. And I know the 11-year-old definitely understand history. I don't know about the 4-year-old yet. But he still might like Professor Bowtie in his outfit, you know? <laughs> we'll find out. You'll let me know. God bless you, Dion. And uh, much safety, young lady, running behind a cash register in a, in a Shell gas station. You know, when you work behind a uh, cash register, uh, yeah, you have to be very, very careful. Okay, God bless you, sister. And uh, take care of my kids. I love my kids. And tell them Professor Bowtie met their mama. You better stop playing with me. All right, guys, so you now officially in the book, Dion. All right, so the next person is Susanna and Popeyes. You know, I always got to go get my Popeyes chicken. I love me some Popeyes. And I got to meet young lady Susanna. Susanna, give me your flowers as well. Thank you for the chicken. And it was delicious. And uh, I know you're going to be selling a lot more chicken because it's Popeyes. Thank you, Susanna. You're now officially in the books. Then uh, my two Jehovah Witness ladies, man, I met on the bus. Uh, guys, I lost my car in Bowles after the game. Night fell, and I couldn't. I thought I was going. I thought I had a lot of landmarks. I didn't. Didn't know where my car was at. Never did find my car. Uh, so the next morning, I got the GPS from the company I rented the car from, and they told me the address. So I took a bus back to Bowles, Colorado, from Denver. And then on that bus, I got a chance to meet three beautiful people. I met two young ladies. There was Jehovah Witness, and I met this young man named Chong. Uh, what, what, uh, well, I'm going to be talking about him uh, when I do the shout outs for the men. But, uh, yeah, his name is Chong. Uh, I forgot his uh, real name, but his nickname is Chong. I, I got it written down. But anyway, I met these two uh, Jehovah's Witness ladies, and uh, I told them, I said, when I get my car, I'm going to come over there so I get a couple of those pamphlets, because I love reading those pamphlets, man. It's very inspiring for me, and uh, I stay encouraged. And so um, I, I did finally get my car. And as I proceeded to go try to find these ladies, I couldn't find them. And I didn't know afterwards is when I seen them, they had wrote me an address, 1325-something. I'm like, oh, man. But what I did, I went over to the church, to the uh, Jehovah Witness Church, and they had the lawn man uh, assisted me. I gave him my card and said, man, these two beautiful uh, Jehovah Witness ladies was on the bus with me, and I was going to meet up with them so I can get some pamphlets. But I couldn't find this place over by Illegal Peace, over on, on Pearl Street. And I rode all around. I, I, but I didn't know I had the address at the time until later when I gave up. I, I seen I had the address. I said, oh, man. But ladies, I am so sorry. I missed out on you guys in my pamphlets. But uh, you can reach out for me. Just just speak to me. Say hello. You know, give me your names or something. I, oh, man, I'm so mad. I am so mad myself. I couldn't find you guys. But anyway, you guys now officially in the book, giving you flowers while you're still alive. Great, great ladies. And I can tell you guys, are partners go everywhere together, do everything together. That's a beautiful thing. And I wish you much success. And you guys follow me everywhere I go because I'm all over the country. All right? All right, you're now officially in the books. My Jehovah Witness ladies. All right, so who we got next? We got um, Carmen, National Car Rental. Uh, Carmen always showed me where I need to go to get to my car. Cause I didn't know where I was at in the airport. Carmen, I want to thank you and uh, shout you out to give you your flowers, young lady. Much success. Much success. And then Andrea, Tasha from Walmart in Lexington. Yeah, you know, I got to shout you guys out. Tasha seen me in all my yellow. She said, boy, you are, you lit up. <laughs> I mean, you better believe I'm lit up. Yeah, so uh, I'm shouting you guys out. Make sure you follow me, guys. Thank you for your love and support. 
And uh, I appreciate everything you guys do when you follow me, share, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Because I try to keep a little entertainment going for everybody. All right, so uh, who's next? Uh, Howell, Aviana Coffee Shop in the airport. Howell, I hope I pronounced your name right. I would show you, I'm going to shout you out. I just love shouting people out, man, giving their flowers. It's the thought that count, man. It's the little things that, that really count. All right, so we're going to, and how are you now officially in the books? And we're going to go on to Sherelle. I met Sherelle at the train. I had to get the train. Let's see, I caught the bus to the train, and then the train to another bus to get to Boulder, Colorado. And, and, and this young lady was sitting, and I told her that she like it. She said, yeah. Hey, Sherelle, shouting you out. Make sure you follow me. Give you your flowers too, young lady. Wish you much, much success in all your endeavors and all your pursuit of happiness. I really do, man. You want beautiful young lady, and I know you're going to be very successful. You've got a beautiful personality, and you're going to do whatever you want in life. I can see it coming. All right, but God bless you, Sherelle. It's nice meeting you. And you now officially in the books. All right, so the next person I got to talk about is Robin from Dairy Queen. Uh, this is in Lexington. Robin uh, gave me my uh, chicken strips. I took a chicken strip sandwich. First time I ever had chicken strip sandwich. I was eating on the go. But uh, I got a chance to meet Robin. Robin, thank you. Give me your flowers. And make sure you follow me. And, and follow me everywhere I go because I'm all over the country. And Robin, you now officially in the book from Dairy Queen. All right, who we got next? We got Ann Mary Park Deal. Uh, this is uh, the young lady that showed me how to park the car and where to park the car so that I can catch the truck, the uh, shuttle back to the airport. And I'm shouting you out, Aunt Mary. Thank you so much. And you continue follow me as well because I'm going all over the country. You better believe me. <laughs> so, uh, Aunt Mary at Park Deal, you're now officially in the books. All right, who we got next? All right, we got Clara from the airport. You know, Clara... Uh, Told me a few places to go to. I got lost there. But Claire, I'm shouting you out as well, man. I love giving flowers. And uh, much success. Make plenty of money. And uh, continue, continue to keep that personality that you have. Personality is, uh, it just make your day when you have a beautiful personality. You don't know it, but you probably make a lot of other people's days as well. And Claire, you made my day too. All right, you now officially in the books, Claire. All right, who we got next? Desiree, my neighbor. You know, she got a beautiful little pit bull dog. And as I was telling her, I never knew her name, but I love her and her husband. They're great people. Love them all. They keep, we all keep an eye on each other's uh, house, you know what I mean? Because so many things and bad things going out there, man. So, you know, you always got to be diligent and aware of your surroundings and what you're doing. Uh, you know, don't never take it for granted, not one time. And uh, that's how people lose their life when they take things for granted. And uh, this neighbor of mine, Desiree, man, wonderful young lady with a beautiful little pit bull puppy and a beautiful husband. And uh, I'm shouting, I say, Desiree, you feel right in time for the shout out. Because <laughs> I never did know her name. I know her, you know, as my neighbor. We always speak and everything like that, talk, but we just, I just never knew her name. Like today, I know Desiree's name. And Desiree, I'm shouting you out. You and Hubby, y'all are great people, man. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. All right. So that's it for me today, guys. I got it out. I got it. I got all oh, my doggone shout outs for all my ladies. And this evening, when I get back, I'll be doing the shout-outs for all my men. Boy, it was a lot of ladies, and I thank each and every one of you. But guys, you know, again, follow me everywhere I go, because I take uh, history uh, landmarkers all over the country. And today, I'm going to be back probably in Cincinnati, because I got to try to finish that city up. Man, Hamilton County is big. But anyway, I should be back there trying to finish up the days to landmarkers. But before I go, guys, to the world, you might be one person. But to that one person, you just might be the world. And people don't care how much you know until first they know how much you care. And I won't see each and every one of you at the top. I'm going to see each and every one of you at the top until next time we meet somewhere out there in the world. And this is your boy, Jerry Costello, signing out. Until next time.